You might think that buying a little plastic bottle here, buying a fertilizer there, won't affect the planet and isn't gonna make a difference in the bigger picture, which in reality it's not. But what if we all chose not to buy that plastic bottle, not to buy that fertilizer that was made in a factory, that was shipped to us, that was we had to pay for? What if we all made those little changes? Would it make a difference? Yeah, I think it would. What if to fertilize your plants, you didn't need to buy anything. All you needed to do was take the scraps from your kitchen and use them. What if that was true? Is it? <laughs> Let me give you seven tips on fertilizing your house plants with only the scraps that you would throw away on a daily basis from your kitchen. These things are completely zero waste, completely plastic free, and completely free in general. You do not have to spend any money on any of these tips. Number one is the humble eggshell. So there's a few ways you can do this. The simplest way is to save the water from your boiled eggs. So if you're making breakfast and you boil some eggs, don't pour that water away. You can let it cool down and pour it directly onto your houseplant. I recommend A, letting it cool down because you don't wanna kill your houseplants with hot water and B, doing this straight away because smelly egg water sitting around, like let it cool, use it straight away. The second way you can do it is by washing, just rinsing the eggshell. So if you crack an egg, either put it in your compost, never ever throw your eggshells in the bin. They're so good for compost but you can let them dry, put them in a pestle and mortar and grind them up. And when you've got that fine eggshell, you can either put some water in it and let it sit for 24 hours and then pour that onto your house plants. So all the calcium that's in the eggshells comes out because that's what we're looking for, the calcium. Or you can just simply sprinkle those eggshells once they're dry onto your house plants or mix them in the potting soil and that will over time release the calcium that's in the eggshell and give it to your plants. The second one is banana peel. I didn't have any bananas to give you an example this time. We don't really eat bananas in our house but I have done this before. So simply save your banana peel, pop them in a jar, cover them in water and let it sit for a few days. Don't let it sit for too long because the water comes a little bit gloopy then as I've done that in the past. Just a few days will be absolutely fine. Strain it, dilute the water, so you probably just use a quarter of the banana juice and then three quarters water and you can pour that onto your plants. I particularly recommend doing this for flowering plants. So like my Christmas cactus, for example, really benefits from this when it's coming into winter because it gives potassium to the plants and helps them bloom. Again, don't use too much of it and perhaps don't do it when it's really hot summer because it could attract fruit flies. But other than that, it's a totally safe, totally natural way to fertilize your plants. Leftover coffee grounds is the third one. And I will say, make sure it's leftover spent coffee. It won't work with fresh coffee and you don't want to waste fresh coffee either so however you make your coffee whether that's in a cafetiere or in a pod when the coffee's left over let it dry out and you can sprinkle the coffee onto your plants or that little bit of coffee that's left in your bottom of your cafetiere dilute that and you can pour that onto your plants but remember not every plant will like coffee or like all of these fertilizers so maybe have a quick google or what likes it for coffee grounds what particularly likes it is devil's ivy peace lilies christmas cactus and money plants they will all benefit from getting a little caffeine fix you also don't need to do this very often don't think you need to do this every time you water your plants it's just adding a little bit of nutrition to the soil every now and again so for coffee for example don't do it any more than once a month and for other things like the banana and the eggshells you really don't need to do this more than every six months number four is do you own a fish tank i don't but if you do aquarium water is really rich in nitrogen as well as phosphorus potassium and ammonia because it comes from fish poo i guess <laughs> and this is a really rich fertilizer for your plants so if you have a fish tank and you're cleaning it 
save some of the water from the aquarium and water your houseplants with it. As long as the water is from a filter system, you can use it directly onto your houseplants. If it's not, you might wanna dilute it at least by half and then water on your houseplants. Number five is another niche one, if only if you've got one, but it's Bokashi juice. So if you use a Bokashi composting system, the juice that you have to drain off the Bokashi bin will make really great fertilizer, whether that's on your indoor house plants or on your outdoor plants. Again, you want to dilute it, it can be quite strong. So one part Bokashi juice to 100 parts water. So that's literally just a drip in your watering can and fill the rest up with water, but it is very nutritious and it's basically like compost juice, but in concentrated form and will do great for your houseplants. Do you drink green tea? Because if you do, save those tea bags. Once you've taken it out of your cup, pour some more hot water on it so it's just the spent tea bag, though it's not gonna be as strong as regular green tea, and you can, again, pour that straight onto your houseplants. Like with coffee, green tea fertilizer is a good one to use on plants that like acidic soil, so if you want to have a quick Google about a different plant that might like green tea, you can do that. So again, things like Christmas cactuses, money plants, ferns and African violets all will really benefit from a green tea drink. Remember to let the water cool again before you do this. You don't want to pour hot water onto your house plants and you can also use the tea leaves from the tea bag or if you're just using tea leaves straight onto your house plants as well as a little mulch around the top. They will certainly benefit from that. The last one is again like the water that you would use from your boiling your eggs is to use the water that you've boiled on your vegetables not just vegetables that could be rice too or pasta plants will like any nutrients that come out in the water from your vegetables but they will also like the starchy water from pasta or rice so if you wash your rice before you cook it which if you don't you should because it makes it so much yummier and fluffier when you wash the starch off or the starchy water it goes you know you'll know when you cook pasta and it goes a little bit white let that cool down don't pour it down the sink use it on your house plants there will be lots of phosphorus nitrogen and calcium in that water so use away i also read that the benefit of using rice water is that pests don't like it so it's great to put on your house plants because it could repel some pests such as fruit flies or aphids, anything like that. So that could also go on your outdoor plants. And my last tip, this isn't part of my sevens, but this is an extra one, is I actually don't do any of these tips that often, maybe once a year, if I sort of see a plant needs a bit of a pick me up or I'm not repotting it that year, then I will use a bit of these fertilizers on them and i do think they absolutely work and i've seen them work in the past however my main thing that i do is just repotting them every other year usually with a bit of peat free compost and that will the compost will add fertility to the pot now i hope that has inspired you to throw away yet another plastic bottle rather than buying a fertilizer in plastic and having to bring it into your home and use it whether it contains chemicals or even if it's organic it still has to be made in a factory it still has to be shipped to you you still get the plastic bottle even if you recycle it these things still have a carbon footprint so if we can do something with something that would have been thrown away anyway i see that as a massive zero waste win enjoy fertilizing your house plants i hope they bloom beautifully for you and give you an extra boost in your home have a great day please do like and subscribe for more zero waste videos